When you go to the bottom of the ocean and say 4,500 meters, it's about 6,800 psi or pounds per square inch over this entire volume. And the bigger you go, the more surface area is being applied this pressure. If you have a closed volume, but on the outside you have the water, then the water will try to crush everything and it will try to uh, get inside. The telemetry in the brain box of the vehicle goes inside titanium cans. It comes as a solid rod, grade five, high strength titanium. Not a lot of machinists can just do this in their back garage uh, tooling companies. This company are going to take our solid material and pour it and machine them down to these pressure vessels. To the machinist, we give not only just the design, but some other instructions as well, like surface finish. For making seals, it's important that we have really good surface finish uh, where our O-rings are touching. If the surface finish is not done well, then it may leak. For our designing purposes, we do a finite element analysis, or FEA, to make sure that the part is strong enough to withstand the pressure. We simulate this pressure on the outside of it, and it does its calculations internally based on the material properties and the forces being applied and how it's constrained. But we do our math beside it just to double check that it's still doing it properly. As well as we're pressure testing them in a pressure chamber. The pressure test is a practical test where we actually put these parts inside a large pressure chamber and compress the water inside the chamber to the same pressures that we'll see at the bottom of the ocean. This confirms that everything stays dry inside, our connectors and their O-rings have been appropriately installed. And we'll lower it down inside the chamber and um, then we go through the process of closing up the chamber. So it's actually a fairly time intensive process, even just the act of opening and closing this pressure chamber. Inside the pressure chamber we're going to take it up to 6,600 pounds per square inch. So all of that force is pushing against the threads in the test chamber. Well, it's very important to make sure you pressure test those one atmosphere housings before you put them on the vehicle. If those were to implode, the whole vehicle would basically destroy itself. The tests for both pressure vessels went through without any problems as we expected. When I received the pressure vessels back here the following day, and I took the end caps off and inside they're completely dry exactly as we left them.